The first time I got face tattoos, um, I didn't tell anybody. Well, no, I told one person I was a tattoo my face. And the reason why I didn't tell anybody because I knew everybody was going to try to stop me. I got six face tattoos at once. And uh, <laughs> my girlfriend at the time, she freaked out. So right when I started getting tattoos on my face, there was about 20 people barging through the door trying to stop me. And it was funny to me. She actually like left me. She dumped me. Everybody, my family and friends would always say like, you don't want to be a clown because no one's going to take you serious. But I've always wanted to be a clown. And being a clown is, is it's fun. And you have to live life fun because you only live once. It's very important to entertain to me that you know my customers because I want to see smiles. I want to see their faces when they come in here, when they get a haircut. I want I want them to have the most exciting haircut of all time. You know, so I try my best to make them laugh, to make them relax, and to have fun in the barbershop. I've always wanted to go to a barbershop like that. My mom was a teacher, so and my dad was in the, the service, so no one could watch me. So they said. You're going to go see your grandpa. So I would stay in the barber shop as a kid. I used to sweep up, help out. I was a helper. I would grew up with my grandpa, and that's why I decided to be a barber and take after my grandfather's footsteps. We had a uniform, so I always wear the suit with the red bow tie, the vest, black slacks, nice shiny shoes, and you, know, you had to look nice in the barber shop. You couldn't go to the barber shop and not be like underdressed. And this is all I wear every day. So one night, uh, my friend, he's a magician, he has handcuffs. I decided to handcuff my hands. You know, it's, it has a one, it has long chain. So one worked and one didn't work. So I, I had to sleep with the, the handcuffs on. I had to take a shower. The next day, I cut hair with these handcuffs, but it, it started constricting like really like more, and it started hurting my hands. So I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta go get this these handcuffs off. I ended up going to locksmith. locksmith he laughed at me he said no we can't do it you gotta go to the police station so I go all the way down to the police station and then the, the police officer says no we don't have no key for these these handcuffs they're not real handcuffs I'm all they are real because they're on my hands you know so like, no, you gotta go to the fire department so then all of a sudden I go all the way to the fire department they're laughing they have to get this bolt cutters and then they you know they cut the handcuff off and I saved them so I can always have these handcuffs Oh, yes! <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you so much, All right, dude. You got it, man. Oh, dude. Thank you. Dude. Sure. I always Thank think you. of new interesting ways to promote myself because it's fun and and I, I got to get more customers. So I saw a protesting going on. And I'm like, wow, they got some big signs, you know? And I thought, if I make my sign, they'll think that I'm protesting. But then when they look at it, they'll, they'll realize it's, it's me. And then wherever they see me, they'll hopefully look me up and they can come get a haircut. I wear the suit all the time. It's a lifestyle. It's not just like I turn it off when I go home. Everywhere I go, I'm, I'm Richard the Barber, you know, and that's who I am.